What's up guys? I just built this new team with Mega Pinter and everyone's on the grind, everyone's using Mega Swampert and Scepter, but I'm using Pinter out here. Um, yeah, this is kind of similar to the team that I used in my last channel life when I had a Mare Heracross. Like, I still have the I have the balance core with like Mantine, Clefable, but this time we also have Tangros because we don't want to be able to tap Gogo, right? And I put I have this really nice um, substitute Heatran, so I can avoid getting trapped by Doggy if I keep up a substitute. Um, I would say have fun to this guy, but he has like a chance. He talks a pack, disgusting team. Yeah, and we have Adam and Pinsel with Stone Age, so I was really hoping that we would run into a Zapdos. This is kind of inspired. I know that Darius, aka DJ, you, um, I don't know if he ma made this set, but I know Ricard used this set, and I think he got the idea by Darius, or from Darius. But yeah, it's basically I SD up and I blow away um, Zapdos, which is amazing, because Zapdos is one of the best pincer checks. If not the best pincer check in the game. I can basically um, expect him to lead off with Mammoth Swine or Mawile here. Um, I would leave off a Clefable, that's usually amazing. That, not usually, like that's amazing with him besides the Mawile. Um, overall... I feel like Pins is an okay lead. It just leads with Ladi. Okay, that's not what I expected, but this is just a free switch into Tangros or Clefable. Um, Tangros or Solvest is nice for the Superior. Like, I'm just thinking if he has trick, but he's not gonna trick a Mega Pinsir anyway, so he can just switch here. If he does trick a Mega Pinsir, then I did not think he would do that. But he would just get a free knockoff. Actually, he might go Mawa. So he has Mawa, which makes me want to go for Earthquake. As we do predict that correctly. But he, ha he has Intimidate, which is annoying. Thought he would be Hyper Cutter, because that is the better ability on Mawa. Um, if he has Focus Punch, this guy's a god. But yeah, he just doubles in the Superior, which makes me think that he's... Maybe he's Substitute and he's going for Dodge. I just sub up on my own as he feeds me. Okay, that's so annoying. I could just magma storm and kill you. Why would you do that, dude? I mean, I shouldn't have sub, but like, no. Oh my god! Now that he feeds me on such an oh, and he dodges. Come get me the fuck out of here. I just want to let him have some fun. Um. Oh yeah. By the way, Mantine walls most swamp birds if they don't have Stone Age because you have Water Absorb. They can only hit you with like Ice Punch or Stone Age. Yeah, so this is really annoying. I should have Magma Storm first, but I, I would I would have missed anyway, knowing my luck. So now he's gonna ma um, now he's gonna fucking Leaf Storm. What's my counterplay to this shit? I don't even know what to do. Like, just gonna go back to Heatran. I'll have to outplay a little bit. I'm just gonna go Tren here. As he has him power of fire, and now he's gonna leech seed, so we're gonna go back to Changros. We're just gonna play this guy a bit because he hexed us. And now we're gonna go back to Tren, even though I kinda wanna stay in. Yeah, he just hit power fire, fire again. And yeah, we're just gonna try to hit a Magma Storm here. As he does just leech seed again. This sucks because he's just gonna keep seeding here. Hmm. This is annoying as fuck. I don't know how I can beat this. If he leech seats on my heat switch, it's so annoying too. But he does just play it safe. Yeah, I'll just make play this game for a while and go back and forth between Chang'e and Heatran. Gonna break them to not HP fire here. So we're gonna go for our own HP fire break, we're gonna go for Leech Seed, exactly. Got him. Now we're gonna go Heatran. But yeah, he's, he's just gonna sub again, this is so annoying. Yeah, he's just gonna sub again. I'm gonna try to hit a Magma Storm, as he might HP fire, but he just plays it safe. He didn't have a reason to not HP fire. He's just gonna substitute here. Um, back to Tangrowth we go, this is so annoying, dude. Back to Heatran. <laughs> like I should have just Magma Stone in the first place.
I never should have. Oh, he just leaves down again. They did so much. The next one might actually kill me. But he can just sub too. So if I miss one, I'm, I just lose to this. That kills, oh my lord. So yeah, I have to go to Pincer. Actually, I should have gone to Laddie. What am I doing? But yeah, I don't have my calculator open. But since I'm adamant, I assume that this might kill him. Losing Hedron sucks. Hedron was amazing to get rid of the packs. As we don't even kill him. Yeah, we just lose this game. Yeah. I mean, I did get hexed. Um, it's not over yet, but like, it's looking super bad. So we'll knock him out with Scarf Lottie if he stays in. Not sure about the moveset yet on this Lottie. I put uh, T Web in the last slot, I could put HP Fire, but I have Flamethrower on Clef. Yeah, I basically lose the Marvel after I lost my trance, so that's that. Just gonna play her off here. Yeah, I don't see what my counterplay is. My counterplay is hoping that he's a slow mower and that I can burn him with my Mantine. As he goes for a knockoff and gets a crit. My lord, get me out of here. I mean, he can sucker punch if he beats me with skull, but... He, he doesn't. Please get the burn. No justice. No justice. And he double crits me to rub some salt in the wound. Um, So yeah, this might be called I get mad or roll to insanity or something. Because if I keep getting hacks, I'm just gonna go insane. Yeah, I think my only play is off quick here. But he can just switch out into Toxic Packs, something like that. Chance he even, because I'm choice locked into Earthquake. As I do outspeed him thanks to the choice scarf that he passed me. But he does sack him, his small world, so we might have a slight chance of winning this. Are we gonna go Clefable here? I mean, he has a Soul Vest. If he tricks me with a Soul Vest, that's pretty bad. So I'm gonna go tangle with the break in the trick. So I get my salt vest back. And he just psyched. This makes no sense. What is this guy doing? What? Just gonna knock off. Do get a nice crit there. Why did he psychic my fail? Like that literally didn't do anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to go Lardy here. If he Dracos, I just lose. So he does trick me, so I lose my. I lose my choice scarf, so I'm gonna go Clef here, but need a drag move. Why would he psychic there? I guess he predicted me. But then now he's locked in. So we're gonna go into Laddie, and let me dump, we're gonna we're gonna go back into Clef, predicting him to go Chansey or Pex, exactly. And now we get a softball. Actually, I can go my rocks. I can get my rocks up. Yeah, let's do that. Just seismic tosses, I can solve ball up. Yeah, too bad I don't have knockoff on this cleft, that would be so nice. We still have a slight, slight chance, but it's looking bleak. It does go into Lari. I do fear trick here. Um, I think he might Draco predicting my Lari. Yeah, exactly, get played, horse. He predicted me to go Lari on a trick. So now he's gonna go Toxapex. I'm just gonna go Lardy here, predicting his packs as he stayed in. He stayed into Draco Michael Fable. I mean, he pre he died to Stealth Rock, so I had no reason to switch. That was an awful play on my part, guys. Um, I think I lose now. It's it's late at night. It's oh, excuse, fucking. This is called I got mad. Like I literally, like I could have won this game. Now I deserve to lose. I could have won with Lardy. Because I could have tricked this chance he's a violet away. I could have T waved this Toxapex if, if a psychic doesn't kill. Like, to like, nah, psychic still doesn't enough. Yeah, I could have won this game. I feel so bad. Now he switches into packs that I predicted last turn. I mean, yeah, he dies to rock, so I had no reason to not moonblast him. And now I just lose. This is 8. Fuck my life, dude. I mean, he did hex me a little bit, but I also didn't play the optimal. But yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna um, play this out and hope for our best. But actually, we're gonna go for a burn. <laughs> Here's Hubel and Chansey. Anyway, I can't win this. Sex is laddie. I brought it down pretty close, but if I didn't make that choke play, I could have won. Still, 
Um, so we're gonna Moonblast here as that does nothing. Because we max defense, we're gonna soft ball up here as I assume he's gonna go for rocks. He does not go for rocks as we're gonna Moonblast him. Wait, I can actually still win this, what the fuck? Don't flinch me, dude. Good, good, good. Man, if I still had my Lottie, I just won now. Because I could have tricked one of those two walls. Man. We're not giving up. Even if I lose this, I'm just gonna continue. He forfeited! He forfeited, El Mayo! GG! He left. How did, why did he forfeit? What? I mean, I was in an okay position now, but... Yeah, actually, I think my region core just won. Like, regenerator plus this having magic guard. My lord, how did I win this? I mean, I kinda choked, but I still won. Good lord. Okay, that's, that's exciting. Let's get another one. So we have 1541 at least. Let's see if we can get a bit higher, but we do get a Hooper, which is... That is scary as fuck. Let me check this guy's rank. Slash rank. Um, I mean, the rank doesn't have to do that much with the matchup, to be honest, but I still want to see. So he doesn't have a good rank, um, like win loss wise. He's 1490. Hooper's a bit scary. I assume he's gonna lead off with. He might have uh, off quick on his scepter. I assume he's gonna lead off with this uh, guard jump or with his Hooper. Michael Fable lead is kind of obvious. Yeah, I kind of want to lead up with my, my Ladios here because I'm Scarf and I can just click Draco. Um, yeah, he has a Tapu Fini, but I don't really mind the Tapu com Fini coming in. If he Scarf jump and he stays in on turn 1, I can just nap a kill here. I mean, I, I could have tricked there. Okay, he just goes Magnus on. Could have tricked on the Fini, but having the Scarf is actually kind of clean to outspeed the... The Sceptile, yeah, we just go Tangro, see if he Volt switches, good play. I mean, he has no reason not to Volt switch, because I don't have a ground type. Yeah, I just realized I don't have a ground type, that sucks. Maybe I should put a Gastron on this team. Um, This could be a Supersonic Sky Strike Cell Steel. I'm gonna go Mantan here, because I don't want to get Sky Strike. If he has that, yeah, he's that sad. So I think I have to Roost up. He goes for Sky Strike, it's gonna be 56. And he's just gonna he's just gonna go Tapu Fini here. But just scald in case he stays in and I just get left over his back is fine. There's a free tank roof. He goes Hooper, which is a good play. But he shouldn't be able to kill me. He's gonna go for Dark Pulse or Gunk Shot or Side Shock. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's gonna go for like. Hmm. Gunshot or hyperspace, gunshot or hyperspace. I don't have a mid ground play, that's the problem. I think I wanna cog. I'm running long time because I pause it. To grab some water real quick. Yeah, I'll cog real quick. If I can live a bandit hyperspace fury. Uh, assault Vest versus Hoopla. Hoopla Unbound or your choice band. Um, Hyperspace View doesn't do much, so I think he's gonna go for Gunk Shot. But if he does go for Hyperspace View, yeah, if he does go for Hyperspace, I can go Cliff. So let's just go to Heatran. He does just go for Banded Hyperspace, blow me away, good lord. So I should have gone Clefable, I should have just stayed in and go for Knockoff. Um, yeah, that sucks. My e is low as fuck now. So he's either gonna go Magnuson or... Hmm. This sucks a lot, man. Just gonna get up my rocks. But, like, when the super comes back and later on, I'm just fucked. And I probably have to set my e -tron. I'm gonna predict him to go for defog. Um... I don't lose much for Moonblast in case he taunts. Should've just rocked again. He's just gonna taunt me. Why did he not taunt me? That didn't make any sense. I'm breaking the taunt so I'm Moonblasting again, exactly. Yeah, Hooper's gonna fuck me up later on. 
So my Pinto doesn't do much this game, he's like the best checks. But this is a free knockoff. If he goes Hooper, he loses his choice ban. But yeah, I kinda wanna put a Gaster on this team. I don't know why Tapu Fini needs to switch and do this. I'm gonna double knockoff. I don't know why Nature's Madness is to play. Okay, I'm just gonna leave Storm now. He just wants to sack this for some reason. Yeah, he brings me in range from Bennett Hyperspace. I get it. But like, now you lost your default and I can get up rocks, which would be nice. Hmm. The edge pins is only good versus Zapdos. It's not that good versus Zoran Sealer. Yeah, I just set my Heatran because it's so low. Even though Heatran could have killed. Hmm. The South Steel is gonna be knowing a fuck to kill. How much does Pinsa hit? I think Pinsa outspeeds him after Mega Evolution. Like I'm adamant, that's why I'm just wanna I just wanna look up, but I'm pretty sure I outspeed it. I hit 309 speed, yeah yeah yeah, I'm faster. If I had close combat, so I would get blown away. He stayed in to suck his hoop up. Bless up. Nice, he sacked the biggest threat. I almost double switched. Maybe he predicted my double. Or he predicted me to go for Earthquake or something or SD. That was that was a potential play. Okay, bless up, we can win this now. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, l just like in the last life, I built this team in like three minutes. And I haven't tested it at all, so yeah, it might have flaws. And yeah, I just want to inform you guys again, I do have a Discord where we team build and you can share your teams, we can build teams together, that's pretty fun, the link is always in the description. And I think Mandan is a pretty fine play here. Because we already know he's offensive, Celestia, and they can just roost here. I don't know why he decided to sack his type of Fini or that, that was so weird. I mean, he... To be fair, he didn't have. Nah, actually, yeah, he had a Celestealer, which had a Z move, so I would have gone Celestealer every time if I was him. I mean, this is fine. Like, if he Volt switches out, he doesn't have much that pressures my Tangro. So if he goes Steel, I just go back to Manta and, like, this doesn't do anything. I just get Regenerator back. The first game I shouldn't have won. But now it, I don't know how I won the first game. I kinda choked, even though I choked too. But it is a free skull if I ever saw one. Try and burn a magnet zone. Yeah, this should be over. He, Hooper was the biggest threat and he sacked it. Pinsley got the kill, I'm happy. Like, I just keep making this play. Like, what does he double to that beats Mantan? Garchomp is the only play he can make. But I think he would be Scarf Trump on his team to check Volcarona. Like, Hooper also checks Volk if it's at full. Can live any hit besides uh, Z Inferno Overdrive. I think that might kill a plus one, but other than that, it should live a hit. Or maybe it kills that neutral after rocks, because that's. I haven't calked that ever, because I don't use Hooper that much. But yeah, I'm gonna scout for Stone Edge slash Fa. Actually, not Fire Last. Stone Edge? Yeah. He just goes for rocks. So is he Scarf Rocks? What? What is he doing? Um. I wanna HP fire here, predicting the thing. I kinda wanna go Mantan actually. But if he's Dragon Tail, he Dragon Tails here. But yeah, I predicted him to go Celestina basically. I don't know yet if he's uh, Scarf Chone. He can go for Sky Strike here, but I st should still eat that up. Um, Roost might be the better play. In case that guy's Dragon the Earth Slash kills me. But I need these rocks off the field ASAP. If he goes Magnezone, I'll just roost here. This doesn't help me. So he went for the flinch there and he gets it, which sucks. So now I'm forced to roost. Oh my lord, I'm so scared. Don't flinch me. Thank you. Now we can attempt a default. It, it, my opponents haven't been playing too, too well. I technically could have lost both games. Yeah, like I said, um, a ground type would be amazing on this team. So I was thinking about... God, stop hexing. I was thinking about putting a freaking... Stop! Oh, he misses justice. I was thinking about putting a um, Gastron over the Tangros. 
But some some co cocos might actually carry grass not because Swampert just came out. So not sure how I feel about it since like most type of coco carry U turn anyway, it doesn't matter if you have a ground type. But yeah, was the Magnuson match of a ground type would be nice. Cause there would if you have a Manta and you can attempt to play aggressive because they wouldn't really go for Volt Switch that often. When you have a Gastron in the back, they would like double into Hooper. You can like predict that and go for Toxic or Scald. But yeah, I'm just gonna roost actually here. Yeah, he does have the rock move, that's what I was scouting for earlier. Yeah, I don't wanna risk a crit or a flinch. So this is just a free tank roost. He doesn't have anything to pressure me if he goes steal, I just go back to man time. Yeah, I should have this in the back. We're gonna grab one more afterwards as he does get a crit. This subtle steal really likes to hex me. Um, the only thing that Scepter could touch me with would be like Rock Slide if they run that. Just gonna go tank here. He might just leave Storm or Dragon Pulse. We don't have HP as I put HP Fire on this. Yeah, it's kind of bad that I don't have HP eyes, but my thing, my Mantan walls this anyway. I didn't want to go Lardy because that's too risky on a Dragon Pulse. I just throw the Toxic or Skald. Skald is the better play in case he tr decides to go Magnezone. For some reason he doesn't. He do get the burn. And yeah, he just gets a crit there. We're running low on Roost, so I have to be a little bit careful. Because this is my main answer to Celesteela. Hmm. Kinda wanna go call Fable here. But I don't see a reason to, like, honestly, I can just roost spam. Still have enough roost to win this game. Yeah, I just roost up again, it's fine. I think we would even live a crit. Man, kinda god. Like, the idea behind this team was. I just liked Mantan in the last life, and now that Pert came out in Swamp, I realized that Mantan wants most Perts with Water Absorb. And the fact that it's a flying type, like I said earlier, they can only hit you with Edge, super effective. So my idea that I started with was um, Mantan and then I added a Heat Trend because I didn't want to use Subtle Steel again. I wanted to use a different Steel type. And my idea basically was uh, Fire, Water, Grass, Steel, Fairy, Dragon Core. Uh, steel, fairy dragon, yeah, we have all this. And then I I basically had these four mons first, and then I added a Scarf Lottie for speed control and Mega Pinsir. I was thinking about Z-Move Lottie at first. It's like ground MZ to kill Muck, because Muck can like pursue you, but like, I think speed control is a bit more important. Muck is not that common. Muck is gonna be annoying if you face that, but we can play around it. I was thinking about adding a Duggy for the last one, but then I was like, I wanted something that hits really hard and it can break like balance. That can like break opposing fat. The only problem is um I should probably support this pincer with like a magnezone to get rid of Skarmory. Like Skarmory is a main problem for this because um, we don't have CC. Uh, like in general, pincer doesn't break Skarmory. The thing is though, Skarmory is mostly like seen on stall, right? And we should beat stall with this team because we have um Starfrox Clav. Plus we have Scarlady to trick something to cripple Chansey or Clefable. Is they're gonna be scared to go Sableye? When I am in with Ladios, if they go Sableye, they go Sableye. That's well played on their end, but I can still win just with the combination of Clef and Tangos. Um, kind of PP stall because Clef doesn't care about T spikes. Tangos has generator, so we don't really care about hazards. Magic guard on this, yeah. Um, I yeah, just roost. He's gonna die to um, burn. Yeah, we should. Win this pretty easily. Hooper was like the main threat. And yeah, team is performing well. I'm happy. I'm not happy with the first game. Um, sub superior is a threat, like with seeds, but like this doubling doesn't accomplish anything, dude. It's a threat, but I, I never should have subbed on it. Um, should just smack my storm, but like he can just sub and keep going for a dodge anyway. Like that's just really annoying the face as he does go for the sky strike, but we're gonna eat this up and we're just gonna roost. 
As long as we don't get flinched, we Gucci, and he has to flinch us twice as he does flinch us once. Dude, stop. Stop it. He crits and doesn't flinch. Phew. So. No flinch, and now we can just Skull Spam. Nice. My Mantan is almost out of, out of Ruse. So this is Scarf, and we do burn him, so this game is over. I can just Skull again. If he goes for Rocks, I can just Defog. Yeah. GG. Like, I, I know it's not like the friendly art to like say GG early, but like... I mean, I didn't say it yet, but I have it ready here. I mean, I don't want to make this too long. I know the last one was super long. It was only three battles, but I just like to kind of think through my plays and not play too fast. Even though I'm fucked up a little bit in the last life. He can technically still flinch me. And he does get a crit. No flinch though. So yeah, I guess I shouldn't say GG yet since he can actually still hit me. So I'm glad that I didn't say it yet. Let's go guard jump. Um, just gonna scald here as he misses a rock slide. I mean that wouldn't have done much because he was burned. I'm just gonna drop the GG. I mean he already wasted his thing so I'll just go for HP fire here. Like he already wasted his Z move. He does flinch me. But he wasted his flinch on my tank with and now I just go to man time. He goes for autotomize. Yeah, th changes I can make is put HP eyes on Tangles because Subcall Zyre is a threat, but we also have Clefable. We do get a crit, which shouldn't matter. Yeah, I should switch because a crit can actually kill my Tangles, I think. Like a high roll or something. See, so he's just gonna flinch us, and I'm gonna use my last roost here. Crazy, this man let me use all my roosts. But yeah, Rock's Clefable is just pretty solid at the moment, I feel. Um, another thing that I'm a fan of, is we're gonna grab another one, we are at 15.58, which is cool. Another thing that I'm kind of a fan of is Rocky Hammer Tangles, because DD Zayat has been getting some popularity. I want to say have fun, but this guy is a disgusting team, but since he had said have fun, I had to say it to reset, thank you. Yeah, DD Zygarde with Z Outrage has been picking up in popularity, so, and even Band Zygarde is like, check really nice by Fist of Tang. So, that's one of the reasons to run it. Another reason is, Purge just came out, if you want Max Defense Clef, you kinda wall that. Uh, I don't really want too many people to join here, so it's just high room. Um... I can just ignore specs, it's fine. So this guy's like dragon, double dragon, okay. Yeah, I was talking about Hammer Tangles, that's not... Um, before I talk about Dragon, let's talk more about that. Lopony's gonna be coming out, it checks Swampert. Um, checks Physical Guard from the Scarf is that mainly. Checks... Um, but what was, just, what was I just saying? Zygarde? And there was another Mon that I forgot. But yeah, Mew is gonna be a bitch to deal with and... Heatran is a good lead besides he besides these two guys. I kinda like Clefable as, as a lead here. So yeah, this could be like Iron Head or you could just go for the Sub-Zero Slammer here. Hmm. Yeah, I wanna go into Heatran here scouting for that. Okay, now I look like a lord, but I still have to scout for Earthquake. Um, so what what he's gonna do here is either Leech Seed Earthquake, switching to Guard Trump, switching to Charizard, or ch switching to Curum. I mean, I outspeed him anyway unless he's Scarf, so I think Substitute is a good play here. Yeah, yeah, now I can just... Um, toxic. Magma Stone is probably the better play, but I don't wanna miss. Yeah, let's just toxic this. Okay, that's that's fine. We still get our health back up. We can Magma Stone to trap this in so he can double switch in the next turn as he just earthquakes. And if he's choice scarfed, if I hit that, that would have been amazing. Because uh, he would have been trapped in. 
Let me look at his team. This, I think this is the Scarfer. Yeah, this has to be the Scarfer. So he's probably gonna double switch quickly my Clef, tank with our Manton if he's good. I don't see what I lose from going to Clef though. Um, actually Manton seems like a good play in case he's not Scarf and he goes for rocks. He does just stay in. So I think the Clefable is gonna be coming out, so I just wanna go back into Heatran. Um, but it's a bit risky. If he's not choice, he's gonna go for rock slide or rock. Yeah, I'm just gonna go heat turn here. It's a bit risky, but no, no one, no human being earthquakes this turn. Yeah, you, if we do break the Clefable, I think we can just uh, go for substitute in case this has, in case this has T wave. He just wishes. I can just magma storm here if he goes back to guard Um That's fine with me because I trap him if I hit, but I keep missing. So I'm just gonna off power because I want to save Magma Storm PP, but this is actually looking amazing for me. The Z-Turn is putting in the finest of work even though I'm missing Magma Storms. I kind of want to stay in here because I I switched last time and it's kind of obvious that he's not gonna stay in here, but I'm gonna go Clef this time because last time I went Mantine and he might predict that exactly. So I kind of want to just get out my rocks here, but. I don't like to mess around with Curum. Oh fuck, he went for the Z-move this time. But I should live it since I max defense. Ah, oh, damn. So he's a uh, Sub-Zero Thorn, which is Freeze Shock, and then he's probably Fusion Bolt. Earth Power and Ice Beam. Damn, this sucks. <laughs> kinda wanna go pins there here. Nah, that's not the play to make. Man, I want rocks this game though. If I go heat and the earth powers, I look like a young noob. I'm gonna go tank with putting the earth power. As he does go for ice beam. I don't think he would have made that play. But yeah, I'm basically gonna pivot around. I'm gonna go heat train. Breaking the ice beam, no freeze. Now I'm gonna break the fusion bolt slash off power, which means I'm gonna go Latios. I mean, I know he has um, Terror Bolt and it goes through my Levitate, but basically I get my Latios in an attack that was not Ice Beam. Now he's gonna go Clefable slash uh, Celestila slash Mew. I don't think he would be. I don't think he would stay in here. Yeah, I wanna go Clefable, predicting the switch into Clefable. Oh, Mew. I hope I can get up a soft world. Yes, Torn. Oh, this does. I don't think he. That sucks so much, dude. I don't think he would be able to kill me, but yeah, he switched out last time. So I'm just gonna sub up here. I'm running some speed on this, and he might not be running as much speed on his Mew. But yeah, losing Clefable sucks so much. I wanted to get it in on the double switch. I played that so well. Now let's just start a time and get a, hopefully connect this Toxic. But the substitute... Tr oh, I'm a big fan of the set shoutouts to Ben Gay. I think he invented the set or whoever, however you say that. I hope that's correct English. And I hope we can go 3 and own this live. That would be so cool. He's Zard X, so this guy's just dragging spam. I thought he would be Zard Y team preview. Yeah, some people say it like you never know what these kids on the ladder do, like they have wild sets. Why am I lagging? Hopefully I can connect amazing. I mean, he knows that I'm probably not gonna stay in here, but... I don't have a good switch and I lost my Clefable. I didn't have a good switch in the first place, but I'm gonna go Manta in here. He does drag this up. Um, I should have gone Ladi there, actually. I'm gonna go Heat Train here if he Earthquakes good play and I lose. Yeah, it shouldn't go. I shouldn't go into my heat train. He daring danced again. What a fucking madman. Let's just go Batman time. Yeah, good play on his part. Quick attack should pick him up. I think I just choked this game away. Oh man, I'm adamant. How did that live? Yeah, I'm so fucking annoyed that I lost that game. Like, my Hedron puts in work, but I don't think I can win this now. Goes on a guard charm, which... 
Let's just go Tangrowth here. If he Scarf Rocks, it's gonna be so annoying because I lost my default. He goes for Stone Edge. He already showed a Z move. I'm gonna go to Laddie here. Because I can never let his Curum come in for free. He goes for Fable. I'm either gonna T Wave or Trick this. I think Trick is the way to go because I want some leftovers. Hopefully, he just doesn't attack me here. He goes for Wish, so we lock him into Wish. So we can basically T Wave something here. If he goes to Mew, that's bad though. Because if he goes to Mew, I T Wave myself. Oh, he goes Celesteela, amazing. Please hit, nice. And now we go Heatran. I don't think he would have Earthquake on this because he already has a Guard Charm and he has Earthquake on his Zard. Wasn't a Kira, which is a great play, but yeah, he, he did show off power. If he Ice Beams here, I lose, but I have to go Lottie. Yeah, I just lose. I should have stayed in there. I just have to bank that I'm faster now. No, but I'm not faster, I just lose. Yeah, this, this was embarrassing. I kind of want to throw my computer out the window. I'm salty as fuck. Dude, I want to <laughs> I wanna throw my computer out. Like... I should never have lost this game. In my opinion, I was playing well early game. Um, but his Zard was just really threatening. He decided that Dragon's was the correct play on my Heatran, which was really weird. Um, like, I should have just gone hard into Latios on that turn that he went for Dragon's. And yeah, basically would have been fine. And I also should have predicted him to Ice Beam my Heatran and just stayed in. So I feel like it was a mix of me choking and... I mean, he played unnecessary aggressive. But yeah. I'm gonna pause and be right back with the next one after I lose this. Um, we are man, we let him kill all six months before we forfeit. Like, we don't forfeit, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm also salty as fuck that my Clefable... That my Clefable died. I'm so salty that my Clefable died to... This fucking Mew, dude, I'm so mad. <sighs> yeah, you guys can call me scum, I just... ...sent that guy my YouTube in PMs and he said he would check me out after I finished laddering. Um, I don't do it all that often, I do advertise sometimes, but... I, it's just when I talk to the people, like, he said have fun, I said have fun. So like, and I also am a big fan of keeping my losses in in my short on life. Like I know some Poketubers like to cut out their losses. I'm not really a fan of that. And like when someone beats me, like I still send like when they're in the PS Live, and like sometimes they know it because like this, like some people know me because I've been using this account for a while. This account is trash GXE by the way. not only me on this account, my friends have also let it in this, but yeah, I want to check this guy's rank. I do want to try to go positive. Oh, if I would lose this game, I would be 2-2, two two, which would be uh, not that good. But kind of surprised that we didn't run into Swampert yet. Because, like, what? I, like, we're not that high in the ladder, but we're not that super low. We're, like, mid-1500. Okay, so this guy is using some Volcarona, which I have to, like, I have multiple checks for. Volcarona is basically not going to do anything. Rotom Wash seems annoying as fuck to deal with. Pince is, oh, Pince is a fucking threat. Pince is a savage beast, as Blonda would say. Dude, how do I deal with Pince there? Hmm. Kinda wanna lead off with Latios, cause I can't give him a free lead with his Pince, at least I would Rotom. Huh. I do want the Scarf on this. If this is some disgusting T Wave Rotom. I want to trick though if he goes Chansey. This is where if I had a Mantan and um, if I had a Gastron in the back, he would never Volt Switch and then could make a different play. Just gonna Draco though. Hopefully he doesn't paint, but yeah, just, just Volt Switch. Like, this is just a completely awful play. I don't know why people like to keep their Rotom and to take so much damage. Like, if I was a spec slider, Rotom would've just died. 
Like, I would have gone Excator breaking the trick if I was him. Or I would have gone Chansey if I was confident that, uh, that I don't go for trick here. Or that my opponent doesn't go for trick with the Ladi. If I'm in his position. Yeah, we have to win this. I don't know how, because Pins is a fucking savage. And, like, to my team, if it has Earthquake or CC, it kills my Heatran. Drill is annoying as fuck. It's gonna be his Rocker, unless it's Rocks. Pins or Rocks Chansey. Um. So we're gonna go Manton here, but if he's offensive rock slide, he's gonna blow me away. He goes Earthquake, so maybe he's Scarf. So I'm gonna go. Assume that he's gonna go Rotom. Chansey or stay in the Toxic Me if he's a bulky Excadrill. So I wanna make a play that covers all those options, which should be my Heatran. Uh, my Heatran should be. I think my Tangles is the better play, because I can knock off his Chansey, I can Leaf Storm his Rotom. I'll just leave stone, I'm not messing around with the Rotom Wash because some people like to stay into Willow Wisp you. If he paints bits, I want to kill him with Leaf Storm. If he goes Chansey, you can knock off his items. So if I'm him, I would just Volt Switch into Volcarona slash Pinsir. Probably Pinsir because Pinsir can take a Rock Slide in regular form. Some Tangos like to carry Rock Slide, it's not common at all, but you still have to consider that yeah, this guy's bad. If I had Rock Slide, I would have killed you there. Sorry if you're watching this, but I have to say that. I would not have made that play, and yeah, we have a Mantine that we can just go out into, and he doubles out, which is a good play. Prince is a savage beast, like I said, so I I have to pray that I scald burn him. Like, I don't see my play versus Pinsir. If I go Heatran and he has Earthquake, he kills me in one hit. Like, <laughs> so that's a problem for the team. So now that I found out what I'm weak to, I probably have to make some changes. Zapdos or... I'm thinking Zapdos or Celesteela would help us with the pincer problem, but I've been using Celesteela on like every team. If I put a Zapdos over my pincer, my team gets like fat as fuck. Dude, I can put like a static Zapdos over my Latios and just be scum and use static and get Paras as my speed control. I mean, I also have TV on Scarf Ladia speed control to like keep Volk in check, even though Mantan is already like the best check. T with is honestly just a cripple shit. I hope I can burn him. I don't know why he went for his D. We do get the burn, so that was just lucky. I'm sorry, my dude. Like, Pinza. Pinza is so scary versus my team. I don't think I had another play besides hoping that I would burn him. I don't have Haze. Um, yeah, I'll just go Heatran because he's just gonna. Frustration. Oh, he has heal balance, Chansey. He has heal balance, Chansey. Um, so I can still lose the pincer. But I'm gonna trap him here. Hopefully I can connect this. Hopefully I can connect this. Because he's just gonna heal bell here. Oh, and I do miss my Magma Storm. So this guy is just gonna be like, Justice. I hope I can connect this one. Because his Rotom would die. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I should be able to get up a Substitute. Because he might try to pain split. I'm not trying to miss. Like, I'm a speedy hit and if he outspeeds me, I'm gonna be mad as fuck. And I'm probably gonna lose. But if I substitute him and he tries to pain split, this, this, this would be so amazing because I could keep his sub up. And I, I know that I would miss my Magma Storm anyway. Yeah, he tries to pain split, get predicted, son. Whew. I'm the goat. I mean, this is a little ladder. Like, this matchup is horrendous. This matchup is like, oh, I should never win this game versus Pinsir plus heal ball. Even I got the lucky burn, but damn, I just realized this guy is super weak to rocks. I don't know why I haven't gotten rocks up yet. I mean, he can just spin on my, on my clef with his drill. But in general, rocks are amazing with him. Yeah, I'm thinking what I could change to help with my pincer weakness. It's tough. Pincer's not common enough, so like, even though I have a pincer on my own team, I didn't think about it. So maybe I should make I should probably make my pincer jolly to at least speed tie. Be able to quick attack the opposing pincer. Um, I hope I can just hit this magma stone to pick him off because I don't think earth power would kill. We do hit so we get rid of the drill. But yeah, if he's earthquake on pincer, we're just gonna get fucked up. I don't think I can afford to stay in here. I wanna go Ladios. Because if I go Mantan, I have to rely on a burn. 
Yeah, this just go for an earthquake. And I'm gonna call it if Sasha kills, but it probably doesn't. Ladios, Ladios, oh, just not just specs, I'm just Scarf, hello. I just chest berry, I just put a random item. Oh, I'm pretty sure Sasha doesn't kill because Princess Great Fist Dev. Since Princess is such a threat to my team, I think I'm forced to Draco here. He's probably gonna go Chansey here, so I do want to double switch, but on the other hand, Princess is such a threat. Oh, he goes top of Lily. That's completely fine, though. I'm gonna go Mantan here. I'm actually gonna go top of uh, Tangrowth here. Because Tangrowth has Regenerator. And Tangrowth is set up fodder for Vulcan Pincer, so I don't really need it. Oh, damn, I keep hitting my mic. I hope you couldn't hear that. It was a mistake. Um, That does look... Okay, Life Up. I thought it was Specs first. As, um, yeah, Hedron will take so much from this. This is nice to knock off his chancy, so maybe I can should keep it. I'm gonna calc how much if that's a modest or a timid type of lele. Um, or your assault vest. <laughs> it was life orb, right? No, not ability, item, life, or... I know some people don't like it when I show the calculating, but... It's a, I don't know, I think it's not really... I shouldn't cut... I don't think I should cut it out. It's a psychic from Modest Tapu Lele. And a psychic terrain. So he's pretty much confirmed uh, timid. Because Modest would do more. Um, 51 to 60. How did that? Oh, it did 55. Okay, so we're gonna. Go I think that my Mantine will get blown away by that. Mantine. Yeah, this to hit kill my Mantine. So I guess I'll just sack this. Yeah, yeah I will just sack this. Um. But like I said, it's set up for for two of his mons and that. Didn't want to go heat and down, let it take that hit. We did confirm that he's timid, so he does outspeed my pins there, I think, which sucks. I know there's a lot of reasons that why you would should run jolly pins there. Um. Yeah, he does outspeed me. Like reasons to out run um, jolly pins is so you don't speed up with jolly max speed landers, you don't. You had speed um, Zard Y, or at least, yeah, yeah you had speed Zard Y to Jolly. But I have a Mantan who checks Zard Y, so I wasn't worried about that. I wasn't that worried about Medichim since I have like, these two mons and this mon has quick attack and kills it. Yeah, I should never have gone for Drake, or I should have gone for. Um, I should have either made a double switch that covered the the Chansey and the Lele, which would have been a double into Tangrowth, or I should have gone for Psyshock. But I was just too scared about the pins there. Man, if I was Jolly Pins, I just got a kill here. I might have Focus Blast, so that's why I don't want to go into Heatran. Yeah, this is so bad, dude. Pins just gets awkward by this, I assume, yeah. So I might just have to go Heatran and dodge a Focus Blast. Dude, I don't see my play versus this. Can somebody explain what my play is? Dude, I think I just have to dodge a focus blast. I don't see my play, honestly. Like, <laughs> why is this such a fucking problem? Please hit, please hit. For fucking God's sake, thank you. So he does get trapped in here, and if he doesn't have focus blast, he can kill me, and it seems he doesn't have it like he would have gone for it the first time, I think. My Heatran is low now, but my Heatran is Volcorn has HP ground, probably. Maybe it doesn't have because he's like these three months that beat Heatran. But yeah, it can just go Mantan. If he doubles the Pinsir, that's a good play. But I'll just sack off my Heatran if he doubles into Pinsir. And if he goes to Vol if he goes for Kurdens, I'll just Toxic him. And I'll just... Oh, he's Lumberry. Fuck my life. I mean, Lumberry means he doesn't have a Z-move, so he doesn't... 
do that much damage. Thankfully, we connect. We can roost up. So yeah, I don't agree how he played that. I just roost spam here. He gets his pin thin. Yeah, I should have scalded there. I was thinking about scalding. So yeah, now he can just. Why is he FDing? I don't understand. He should just go for return. Um, yeah, this time I don't get the burn, and now I'm just gonna set my heatran. Samantha is still nice to keep, and. Just gonna go Lottie and click Psyshock here in case he goes Chansey. Um, Chansey's gonna eat it up, anyways. Oh, I should have culked, but I should live a plus two quick attack unless he's adamant. Yeah, if I don't, I mean, if I don't lift this, I didn't have another play anyway. Anything else gets killed or picked up, yeah. So yeah, big threat. Like this is always what happens when I use a team. I always get the one one that I'm super weak to on the ladder. Last last time I was weak to Coco, but Coco is way more common to Princess. So you should be fine usually with this team because you don't see Princess that often. But Princess is like a savage as fuck, man. So you have good hazard control and like can keep rocks off the field. I never really tried to get a rocks up this game because like he has like some ones that do too well versus Clefable. Like these four months just fuck me up with. Fuck my clef up. He did just go chancy, but I couldn't afford the orb predict and I kinda wanna go into my own pincer here because it's like a savage mon, like I said. Since I'm adamant and uh, I'm gonna blow something away. Yeah, I'm just gonna click Adamant Return and blow this chancy away. If this doesn't kill I'm kinda disappointed. That did nothing! I could have SD there. But he has quick attack to revenge me. So I don't think SD would have changed anything. And he's just gonna quick attack here, but... This is nice to keep to check the fucking Volk, so... I think I go Clef. Actually, I have a fucking Manta, what am I doing? But this is fine, because he can't... Yeah, this is fine, because he can't kill me. I should have gone for rocks, because that would have killed this Pinsir, basically. Um... But I just go Manton here. No, I, I just have to hit my Toxic and I win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have my Scarf Lottie always in the back to kill his Pinsir. And I do miss the Toxic, so that is the win condition for him. I mean, I did get a bit lucky early on burning the Pinsir and stuff. We do connect this time, we're just gonna Scald. Um. Dude, we're gonna flex on this guy. We're gonna go pins on the Giga Drain. Watch this. Flex 360 on him. Whew, it's lit. And now we're gonna quick attack. Cause having pins there in having pins there in. Oh man, he got the flame body. But his pins is low, so my quick attack kills. Having pins there in prevents him from going for SD, so my laddie always lifts any hit. Yeah, my laddie lifts any hit and I win GG. Phew. Thank you guys for watching. Whew. If he did go 3-1, I'm mad about that loss, but yeah, no one likes losing. And we have 15-53, man, we're still kind of low. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, might leave the team down below. I still don't know how good the rain matchup is because I didn't get to play rain. I think I might be kind of weak to rain. Because I see some perks carry edge for man time. But the ma the, there's perks that don't carry edge, we wall them. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want to see more soul lives. Um, I know some people love to see Avon and Padlob in a live. I did record like an 80 minute live with Avon, Padlob and Sorry, but it's like it was mainly like a guest live because I was like super tired. So I let them play mainly. I just was narrating a little bit of it. Um, that will go up maybe before this, maybe after this. I'm not sure. I'll probably upload my own live first. And yeah. By the way, I found some kid on the ladder and in some PokerTubers comments that like always cries about my channel. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Cause he's like, you only upload tournament games. You don't, oh, you only upload games from other people. You don't even upload your own games. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? I upload at least one shot on live where I play myself one per week. And people appreciate fucking tournament games, right? You guys appreciate tournament games, right? Yeah, I don't know why I got so salty and why did I have to mention this. Why well, I even mentioned this in the first place. This was a bit unnecessary. But it just annoys me, like, I put so much work and I stay up for you guys, like, sometimes I sacrifice sleep. I sacrifice going out with friends and record all these games for you and then someone cries about it that I don't record, that I only record games from others, like, 
if you would watch my channel like on a not on a daily basis but if you would watch me at least every three days or so you would know that i don't only upload other people yes i do upload tournament games and sometimes guest lives but for my friends are in it and i don't play much but like what the fuck dude i have like 60 short on life from sun and moon almost it's like short on life 58 or 59 and then and at least half of them i play myself maybe even more than half of them and i have like 30 rs lives too i also have one of my tournament games that was like two months after sun and moon came out where like play pretty well i feel and i also it's not like i just let the game play when it's a tournament game i also give my thoughts and yeah i know my, that i have to get better at black and white narrations but yeah i'll try to get partial again he might we might call the dbp cup finals if we're gonna be able to i don't know when it's gonna happen yeah i don't know why i'm rambling on i'll check out the discord in the description if you want to team up with us and let me know what you think about this team and possible changes how to fix the pincer weakness um, yeah, Zapdos would be cool, but I don't really know what to put it over. Um, I think I forgot something, but I don't know really what. Yeah, have a fantastic gu day, guys. Hope you enjoy the daily uploads. I'm really trying to get out here, get the content, and stitching for World Cup. It's starting at, like, in May. So, like, it's start- uh, she it's already the in June, what am I saying? May is over now. Yeah, it's starting in a few days, so the hype is real. And I'm trying to hit 1k when, when World Cup comes around. We are like one, we are like at 100, 826 or 820. Now we're at 820 subscribers or something when I up, when I record this video. 823. Thanks for the support, by the way. We are really going towards the 1k line. Like we don't need that many more subs. So when I when I reach 1k, let me know what you want me to do. But I'll I'll ask again. I make a specific video. Where I'll ask for it. Um, I plan to do like a three or four hour laddering session with friends, but which but like with like maybe six or seven friends, which is gonna be like super wild. But maybe that's a little bit too wild. Maybe I'm gonna only do it with three or four friends. And let, just let me know what you want me to do. And like I said, check out the Discord because I like to be in contact with my subscribers. And Dokuch signing out. And hope you have a good time. Oh yeah, also also. I'm gonna start streaming. I mentioned this a few times already. I always forget about it. Um, hit me up if you see me. If you're in my Discord, remember me that I should start streaming. If you want me to stream, that is. Because it, it seems like really fun. Like when I watch Blunder stream, streams, it's always enjoyable as fuck. Like he talks about different things, not only about Pokemon. So I'm, I'll get like someone like Sorry or the Dirts. Maybe not Sorry and like Colin and Padlop. We wanna talk about some. Let us know what you want us to talk about in the chat there. Like hip hop, I I'm not really a fan of rap and hip hop, but like I know Padlop knows a lot about that. So like we can talk about music, we can talk about real life. Like hit us up. And yeah, I said everything that I want to say now. <laughs> I was rambling for way too long. And peace out, my guys. <laughs>